Now when we have almost all controls covered, let's talk about libraries. First of all, library is a storage. And in the storage, you put everything you made while working with composition tool. Basically, the idea behind the composition tool is that everything you made, every composition, every collection or prefab, uh, it will be saved to the library. But then, after some time, you can use it again. You can maybe tweak it a little bit and everything, all this information will be saved to libraries. Now, there are four types of libraries and we will step through each of them independently. And we will start with object library. Now, in order to open the object library, uh, we have to press F5. Now, the loading process involves uh, reading from config files and this process is quite long, but it will happen happen only once per armor start. So basically, even if you go outside of the add-in and you go again uh, back to the add-in and uh, you try to open this uh, object browser, it will be much faster. And this loading will take take place only once. Okay, now let's see what we have in object library. First of all, let's start with config entries. This tree have every possible vehicle class available in game. By default, it is grouped by vehicle class property. Every, uh, every vehicle config have uh, this property and sometimes it's an uh, empty string, which is also okay. And all, the, all, those, uh, all those classes that don't have any will go here. Uh, and uh, let's, for example, open those structures cultural. And as you can see, there are all vehicle class uh, that have uh, structure cultural as a vehicle class. Now, it is also possible to disable grouping and we will have all, uh, uh, all vehicle classes just listed here like this without any grouping. And it is also possible to search those items. Let's try and search for every wall. Now there are plenty of uh, class names with the word uh, with the string wall in them. If we clean this search, it will uh, reset the search results and will show everything. Now it is also possible to exclude classes with the uh, scope zero and with the, with the scope one if we don't want them. Now we have significantly less items in here. And it is also possible to uh, exclude those with empty models. And we can now search in this sorted and uh, excluded items. And also there is a sorting and with the sort we can actually see all vehicle classes added by a certain mod. Now STD, it is stands for the standard armor sets. So basically everything from the armor, including DLC, uh, will be here. And we can sort them and we can see them. It is also possible to sort by uh, community upgrade projects. And uh, as you can see, all items from Cup will be also available for you. It is also possible to have other modes. Just to show you an example, I have uh, the mode Armor Nature loaded. And uh, now this mode have a certain number of vehicle classes to use the uh, n uh, nature, nature stuff like uh, bushes and uh, rocks from the from the armor uh, itself by default you are not able to access them 
there are certain trees and stuff like that. Now, if you have some uh, add-on that you want to use objects from, and it is not uh, natively supported by a composition tool, you can uh, pretty much sort this mode here and have uh, faster access without need uh, without need to search uh, for the all those entries. Um, and as you can see, some objects like this tree, it have the wrong size. Uh, well, the mode doesn't have uh, the size informed in the config file, so uh, it is displayed incorrectly. We can uh, actually zoom in and out by holding shift and using your mouse wheel in order to see properly the object. Now let's see what we have uh, here in the middle and uh, that's basically the content of the library itself. Now uh, the object library is the only library which is coming by default uh, filled with stuff. Now every library have categories it's like a folders and each category have items. Now as you can see those categories are available in object browser some of them we already used to select objects from and if we select the item in this list it will show us uh, the content of this specific category. Now we can click on each object here in this list in order to see the preview of it. Now these categories can be changed in any way. You can as well delete all those categories with the with of course with the content of those categories and fill them by yourself if you feel like that you uh, you don't uh, like uh, how i did it for uh, for users so you can completely ignore my own view and my own build and you can uh, fill your own categories in your own way or you can uh, use mine and also add your own categories and in order to do that we type in the name of category in this edit box and press the create button. Now it is added here and by default it's empty, I have nothing. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, there is a Arma nature add-on and uh, it is not, uh, those objects are not in those categories because it's not natively supported by composition tool. And uh, why not, uh, let's make uh, the category specifically for those objects and then we will have access to them in game. Uh, let's, for example, add trees. And we add objects to the category by selecting from the uh, tree, uh, tr uh, this config enters tree, and so, uh, pressing the enter button. Now it will go to the selected currently category. And like this we add all items we want to see there. Now I don't want to have branches, only trees. Okay. Now we can open the object browser and this category will be added and uh, all these items are now available for you to build now as you can see there are no preview available of course because uh, the this mod arm nature is not uh, yet supported by composition tool uh, in time maybe this uh, mod will be supported and some other modes maybe uh, like pull punks, objects, uh, maybe something else. Uh, feel free to let me know if you want uh, your add-on or maybe some add-on that you use and you like uh, to be supported as well. It is totally possible. Just let me know. I will try to add the, the picture 
for those objects. Uh, but still, even without the preview, it is possible to actually see those objects. Let's try to select this olive underscore one. Now you can place the objects like every other objects. You can move it and pretty much do everything with it. Now, if for some reason you don't like a uh, certain category, maybe you don't like or you don't ever use the VR category and you don't need it, you can uh, select it and hit delete and the whole category will be deleted. And it is also possible to delete items from the category. For example, if you don't want those olive trees, you can delete them by hitting the delete button on the keyboard.